Hi, my name is Daniel Molina. I'm assistant professor at the University of Granada in Spain. For the last year, I started learning and playing with Julia. At the beginning, I use Julia mainly as a hobby or mainly for my personal use. For instance, I use a lot Python. I started using the script in Julia and not in Python. Why? Because mainly I love the environment of Julia. I love also delivery for visualization and data preprocessing. I love them more than the library available in Python. This is for my personal use. But more recently I started using Julia as a teaching resource. I would like to share my experience. At the university I teach a course in which each year I propose a different problem, a optimization problem, a student has to implement several algorithms that I teach them to solve that. So, um, at the beginning I started using Pluto that I consider is a wonderful teaching resource. Of course, you can do the same thing with Jupyter, but for me, Pluto is more intuitive. More intuitive for what? More intuitive for create interactive visualization, interactive animation that you can use to help your student to understand the problem they have to implement, they have to solve, and also the algorithm they have to implement to solve that. Now I'm going to show you a sample of for my courses. Here there is a sample. This is a problem of clustering in which we have uh, several elements that we have to make the clustering. We want to optimize the distance instant cluster. That means the distance between the element in the same cluster and also we, there are several constraints that several elements have, have to be in the same cluster and several of them have to be in different clusters. We can visualize, we can generate a new instance here and we visualize with a continuous line the individual that has to be in the same cluster and with a dash line the individual that has not to be in the same cluster. We can generate initial solution and indicate how many constraints it will lay and which is the distance. And we can visualize also the sample, the algorithm. This is a grid algorithm that starts with a init cluster and then issues for each individual the same group of the cluster that is closer to it. The bigger line is the closer distance and you can visualize how many how much the clustering is updated. At the beginning, at the end, this is completely interactive. You can show the code or not showing the code. And even you can visualize the algorithm in different stages and you can also visualize how how much the, the fin length the distance is going to reduce during the run of the algorithm. I use Julia also in a different way because each year the problem to solve is different. I like to implement the problem and to implement the different algorithm. Why? Because I like to know how much time each algorithm is going to take how good the result they are going to obtain each algorithm and how difficult is the implementation of the algorithm for the specific problem. A student have completely freedom to choose the programming language they want to, to, to do that. The majority choose C++ because for them is, is they consider the algorithm that gives the best performance, they obtain very good results, but at the same time, they take a lot more effort than using a different language because they have to implement many operations at low level. There are a minority of students that want to use Python. I didn't like that because the performance for this algorithm could be very low 
and sometimes they have problems to obtain the result in a reasonable time. But some of them use that. The problem with that is they have not in an experience um, they take a lot more time and while the implementation is, is simple they have problem with the experimentation part. I use Julia for implementing the algorithm. Why? Because at the big, at the end of each deadline, I could I could show them the implementation of the algorithm. Show them the implementation in simplest places, not good enough because it's not intuitive. In the implementation in Python or Julia is a lot more intuitive. But also um, in Julia, I can obtain the result in a reasonable time. Is the case actually that my implementation in Julia takes less time than the majority of implementations in C++ of the student. Of course, I have more experience than the student, but it's interesting that Julia is competitive with the implementation in C++, a different of Python. Now I'm going to show you the implementation and how I run the algorithm. Now I'm going to show you the, the practice. This is several algorithms that are available. Now I'm going to show you implementation of several of them. There are progress matcher. This is the short code. The short code of the algorithm is over there. It's local search. Implementation is very simple. It's less, it's mainly less than 70 lines. And this is the practice code. And you can see so the feed, I implement the different algorithm and even use the time output for the more expensive, the more time consuming algorithm. That is that to see in which part they take more time. The results are in a dead frame and this is the final result. To summarize, I think Julia is very useful for teaching. First, Pluto is very useful for visualizing complex concepts to a student. And also in my area, computer science, Julia is very good language for implementing the algorithm in a simple way without a performance penalty. So I think it's a very good alternative to the C++ or Python. In the future, I expect to give a small introductory talk to Julia, about Julia, to my students for letting them choose that language for the implementation of the algorithm.